many patients may not be familiar with. In vitro maturation, also known as IVM. Can you explain what IVM is and how is it different from traditional IVF? Well, with traditional IVF, of course, we stimulate the women with hormones. And in order to get more follicles, because you don't want to just get one egg and go through multiple cycles because the majority of human eggs aren't going to be a baby. So you like to get multiple eggs, maybe 10 eggs, 15 eggs. You like to get more eggs if possible uh, so that she only has to go through one cycle to get embryos that will result in the baby. And so you give hormones for that. Actually, what we found is you don't have to do that with all cases. We discovered that with our ovary freezing for cancer patients, that we can dissect that ovary and we find these immature eggs that haven't been stimulated, have been subjected to hormonal stimulation. And so they're no good in their present form. But And, and you can even retrieve them with a tiny needle for patients with PCOS particularly. And then we can mature them in vitro. In other words, we can make these immature eggs we call GVs. You don't have to remember that, but we can actually mature them into these what we call M2 oocytes that we normally get when we stimulate a woman, retrieve her eggs for IVF. So we don't need hormonal stimulation. And in fact, when we take out an ovary to freeze it for a cancer patient to preserve her fertility, we can preserve not only ovary tissue, we can preserve these eggs, we freeze these eggs as well that are all ready for IVF without any hormonal stimulation whatsoever. Yeah, that's incredible. And I feel like so many eggs are discarded and wasted in this country every single day because other clinics are not giving eggs a chance that could potentially be used for IVM. That's exactly right. Uh, we have a motto, give every egg a chance. And the IVM is remarkably good. 